Tonight, a rare opportunity, a chance for you to judge for yourself. For the first time from inside Bali Jail, Chappelle Corby's own story, the whole story, how she was caught carrying more than four kilos of marijuana in her luggage. That's a bag about the size of a pillowcase. How she's coping after more than a month in a steamy Indonesian prison. And how she's facing the future, the threat of death by firing squad. The evidence? Well, the odds seem to be stacked against her, even though she's adamant she didn't do it. Now, see what you think. It's hard to say that it's actually hit. I'm, I'm, adap I'm adapting to it. It's like I'm living someone else's horrible life, though. Like, I shouldn't be here. It's... So I'm just trying to be strong, and I'm, I'm just lucky that I've got a really good family and friends um, to help me get through. Can you believe it? No. No, I can't. All I can do is try to adapt as, as best I can and try to keep healthy. This is where I met Chappelle Corby at Bali's police headquarters in Denpasar. She's now confined to the same cell that once held the Bali bomber, Amrozi. Our jailhouse interview is the first time the 27-year-old Queenslander has spoken at length about her arrest and the possible consequences. Chappelle, the, the death penalty is a reality. You know that, don't you? Uh, yeah, I know that. Um, but hopefully it won't get to the, the prosecutors are, are actually at the point now to decide whether it's um, 20 years or life. <laughs> 20 years of life. <laughs> Which to me it's like, what's the use of me trying to survive these days anyway? If life's what, even 20 years. You couldn't do that? For my family, I could. For myself, what's the use? I'll be like 50 by the time I get out and I'd never be married, never have children. Bali is Australia's playground, a place of cheap holidays and tropical delights. This was Chappelle Corby's first trip back here in four years. It was October the 8th, a Friday, when Chappelle, her younger brother James, and two girlfriends flew out of Brisbane via Sydney, headed for Bali. Within a matter of minutes, the bags were being unloaded from Chappelle's flight. Inside the terminal, she collected her luggage and headed through customs. People were getting their luggage checked and I thought, oh, okay, maybe that's a normal thing because of all the terrorists and whatever. And so um, this, the guy that was checking the bags said to my young brother, he's 17, he said, is that your boogie board? And, yeah, I'm so excited, you know, I'm having a holiday. I hadn't been here for four years. And I go, no, it's mine. And I picked it up and put it on the counter. And I yeah, it's mine. And I've opened it up and I've just seen, um, I don't know what it was, but I just thought it's, it's not, so I didn't put it there. And as I you, closed you it. You knew instantly it was? No, no, I just knew there was something there. And what, what worried you about that? Um, it's just an instant click. Oh, my God. I've seen this kind of things in the movie, but I didn't know what it was at the time. I just knew that all I'd put in there was my boogie board and my flippers. But the customs officer who screened Chappelle's luggage already had his suspicions. There was more than just a boogie board in her bag. How was she behaving at that time? After I started opening the second zipper, I asked her to finish opening it up. She started to get quite nervous and confused. And that is why I started feeling inside the bag and opening the zipper even further. Do you believe Chappelle Corby knew she had something illegal in her bag? I'm sure, because when we opened the second zipper, she was already trying to stop the opening of it. Oh no, I have something inside. 
It's been reported in the Australian press that the customs officer who challenged you about the drugs said that you, in his opinion, behaved very nervously. <laughs> he barely looked at me. I opened them myself. He said that you were, you were reluctant. To open it? Mm. He didn't even ask me to open it. He said to my brother, is that your bag? Is that your boogie board? I've got a yay, I'm so happy. No, it's mine. Hey, here you go. Wee. <laughs> Yep, that's mine. He, he, he felt that you were acting almost suspiciously. No. No. And um, then I, I wasn't sure if he'd seen it, but I knew I was going to be in trouble anyhow, whether he's seen it or whether it's been planted there and someone's waiting for me to go outside, then they're going to get me outside. So I was going to be in trouble either way. But you didn't try and conceal? No. What was in your biggie book? Well, I didn't know if he saw it. I opened it and then I closed it. So you unzip it? I unzip it. He didn't even ask me to. I did it myself and I opened it and I've gone. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I'm in trouble. Inside the bag was 4.2 kilos of marijuana, with an estimated street value of more than $80,000. It's the biggest ever seizure at Bali's airport. And then they did a little test and it came in purple. And then they came to me and it said, it's marijuana. And I'm like, well, yeah, I can smell it's marijuana but it's not mine, this is my bag and this is this and this is not mine. But they were getting my brother to touch it and um, do all things and I'm like, it didn't hit me, what's, ha what's happening? Did you know this was trouble? Yeah, I didn't know exactly how much trouble. Under Bali drug laws, possession is everything. The bag was Chappelle's, the drugs were Chappelle's, unless she can prove that somebody else put them there. So now it is up to her legal team to try and establish her innocence, because as far as the Bali authorities are concerned, the case is closed. She's guilty. Somebody should be really mad out of their mind to bring 4.2 kilograms of marijuana in a, in a transparent plastic bag. It's bizarre. It's not possible Chappelle did this. No, not possible. Vasu Rasaya is spokesman for the legal team defending Chappelle. So Chappelle has been charged with importing drugs and for being a dealer in drugs. Yes. What penalty does she face? If they approve both, then she has a maximum penalty of 20 years life or 20 years and 1 billion rupiah fine. Or death? Yes. It is one of everybody's concerns that this girl may lose her life? If, it, if it's proven beyond doubt and all counts. Do you dare to think about the future? I am being really positive, I have to be. Otherwise I'll just, it, like it took me five days to actually eat. I was vomiting every day. Just like, what's going on? I couldn't understand it. Um, and I realize I have to be, everyone's been strong for me, so I have to, have a respect for them and show them that I'm going to be okay. I'm going to, I, I, until I go to court and the judge will say I'm innocent, there's no other way that he can go. If Chappelle didn't put the drugs in the bag, then who did? It's a question the family is still grappling with. Her older sister Mercedes, who once lived in Bali, is convinced there's a sinister explanation. Everybody is just saying, oh, mafia, sabotage. That's what they're saying to you Everybody. Here. Even if I'm in a taxi, uh, why are you going to Polder? Oh, to see somebody there. Oh, that Australian girl, oh, mafia business. Everyone. They've been planted there as far as you're concerned. Oh, absolutely, well, I didn't put it there. That's, that's, that's the bottom line, is I didn't put it there. They're not your drugs? They're not my drugs. Didn't put them there. They're none of your family's drugs? No. no. Not your brother's drugs? No. Your friends? No. No, and there's, you know, people say, maybe your friends put it there. It's like someone asking you, did your friend put, if you, it can happen to anyone, and it's happened to me, and that, I don't know what I've done to deserve it. Customs Officer Wanata is the star witness for the prosecution. He says it's impossible that the drugs were put into Chappelle's bag when they arrived at the airport. 
There's no possibility of that at this airport because as the bags come down from the conveyor belt, security is already there. Do you believe they were Chappelle Corby's drugs? In my mind, yes, I'm sure. The only thing we do know for sure is once Chappelle checked her bags into Brisbane Airport, she didn't see them again until they arrived in Denpasar. At no stage in Australia was the boogie board bag weighed individually, nor was it screened for drugs. Are you telling me you've never ever taken drugs? <laughs> um, people have experimented when they're in like year eight, year nine. Um, I, I did experiment in year eight and year nine, but I get really, really paranoid. I, I can't, I can't, um, I can't be around it. So you, you did take drugs as a teenager? Uh, I experimented. And I'm pretty sure most, yeah, maybe 90, 80% of teenagers actually do. So you're not a drug taker now? No, not at all. As, you're not, you're as, not, my, as my tests prove. You're not a dealer? No, I'm not a dealer. You've never sold drugs? Never sold drugs. You've never, never bought drugs? N no, never, not even when I was experimenting, I never did. No. So, all I is say, I shouldn't be here. And it's just really, really hard to sit in that cell for um, three days straight, not getting let out of the cage once. Um, it's really hard to keep strong um, and not think. Well, yeah, you just think, who am I ever going to find out who, who did this? Early this week, Chappelle's mum, Roz, a no-nonsense fish and chip shop owner from the Gold Coast flew into Bali. All we want for Christmas is Auntie Pell out, don't we? Yeah. Hey? That's what we have to concentrate on and that will be the best present for everybody. That's what we mostly have to concentrate yeah. on. Roz, like her family and friends, is trying to come to terms with Chappelle's potentially deadly predicament. You haven't seen Chappelle yet? No. You, and you're hoping to see her soon? Yeah, I am, but I'm just scared I might break down. I don't know. What, what do you want to say to her? Just give her a hug and cuddle. There's nothing I can say to her. Just She knows I love her and I know she loves me and I know she didn't do it. Chappelle! Oh, darling, it's Mum! Oh, no! Oh, yeah. He, he can't let you because he'll get in trouble. 24 hours later, and Roz was finally able to see her daughter. But wasn't allowed past these bars. Well, the thing is, I am innocent. I didn't do it. It's my bag, yeah. And that's why my lawyers are working so hard to try to determine where, where and when and who. Maybe not who, maybe that'll never be found. Where and when. So it would be really, really helpful if some authorities could help me out to try to get that information. At the moment, the Corbys are separated by a legal system that shows no mercy to drug traffickers. On the outside, a family who've long had a love affair with Bali and made it their second home. On the inside, Chappelle Corby, who's now learning this paradise could exact an awful price if she fails to convince a judge, a country, of her innocence. I think I've been here about five or six times since I was 16. So you've always been aware of the, the dangers of bringing drugs. You always understood that was not a good idea. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. Um, uh, I know. <laughs> I don't even smoke drugs. I don't have drugs. And I've had my urine test and my um, blood test and they're negative. I'm, I'm not a drug user. You weren't just being naive and silly and thinking I'll give it a shot. <laughs> no, no. Not if I can get the death penalty. Not if I can be in here for 20 years and never have a baby. Never have a life. No way. You always knew that that was uh, what happens here if you bring drugs to Bali. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can you look at the Australian people and say, without a shadow of doubt, you are innocent? I am innocent. 